at computational fracture mechanics lab we mostly work on the finite element analysis and uh, we also do experimental work and for justification as well as to see that this idea is working or not the main focus of our research is on material inhomogeneity effect in our lab we calculate the fracture behavior of different types of materials so metallic materials ceramic materials polymers and and this uh, lab is independent of material so we can actually do what we are doing on any type of material and for any type of loading and we are utilizing the idea that if you place a different material in the path of a crack then that improves the fracture toughness so the idea is to use defects which usually is discarded so we use the defect in the material to improve the property and this has been done before we have increased the fracture property of material in case of polymers by 7 times and in case of steel by 300 times uh, and we are implementing the same idea here at IIT Roopar so here what we are doing is we are analyzing uh, material transition from elastic plastic material on the left hand side to elastic creep material on the right hand side and the arrows which you are seeing is you will see these arrows on the interface where the material transition is happening and we calculate this using a post processing tool and uh, this is how we calculate configuration forces so these arrows are actually the configurational force vectors and uh, we can calculate the j integral using this and we can calculate the j integral for different properties so for creep for elastic plastic and you see uh, see this is the j integral and usually with our post processing it it comes in a negative direction because the configurational force vector is negative so from here to here it is elastic plastic loading and then there is a creep forming